Hello friends, welcome back to Joyful Hack Faker. I am Kim and today we are going to plant some lettuce and some other things. But first, I wanted to show you something I found in my makeshift greenhouse the other day. So, I came in here the other day to water my um, tomato plant up here. It is a plant that I found in my garden that was just a um, volunteer plant at the end of the season. I also have this one over here, which is growing good. Pretty good, they're a little wilted, but hey, it is inside in January, so I think they're doing pretty good. <laughs> but on this one, I had seen I had two tomatoes growing. And there's one of them still growing on there. And the other one fell off. And look, it's red. Well, it's getting there. So it's been sitting on the table for a couple days now and ripening up. And I have a fresh tomato in Iowa in January. I just think that's so cool. Sometimes you can get things to continue growing. I don't know how I did it. I am usually the person who kills half of everything I grow, so for me to have a tomato in January is just awesome. That means I am learning and I am getting better, and um, yeah, I'm excited. So, I also, these are my beautiful poinsettias that my lovely neighbor gave me, and it's so nice having that uh, red in here. I just love it, so now let's get some lettuce planted. All right, I have a couple pots here that I grew um, lettuce in this fall and it grew really nice and looked beautiful and then my cat ate it. So I didn't, I didn't know how much she had eaten so I didn't feel comfortable eating any of it after that. So we just let it grow for a while and then I fed it to my chickens so they were happy. But I'm going to start more now because I have my, you can see part of it here, my nice uh, little screened in room here that I'm using as my greenhouse for the winter here and spring. So now that it's protected from the cats, I'm gonna plant more. And this is what I planted this fall. And I'm gonna try it again. Green romaine lettuce and Waldman's dark green lettuce. And I believe this one grew really well and the other one I got nothing so we'll see if I can grow it now. It's kind of how I usually end up that 50% of what I plant dies but that's okay because at least I got 50% of it <laughs> and as long as you know you're going to kill some stuff and plan for it. All right I'm also going to be starting some herbs today. I got this um, planting tray at Dollar General after the season was over for 75% off and works nice, especially for that cheap price. And I'm going to be starting some, I'm gonna use, the, it's kind of divided into six little sections here. So I'm gonna do one each of sage and basil, thyme, rosemary, spearmint. And that's only five, so I will do double of one of them. <laughs> uh, maybe rosemary. I've just read recently about how good it is for your health. So maybe I'll do extra of that. So, And I'm going to be planting them and I'll water them and stick them in my new greenhouse. And the way I label it is I just put, I have these little stickers that I write what it is and lay, put it right here. Um, I will get some plant markers for when I put them in the garden and stuff. But while they're in these little trays, that's how I mark them. And so, I, because I never remember exactly what I planted where. So I have to have a visual identification. <laughs> so I'm gonna get these planted and then I'll show you where I put them. All right, and I am finished planting. I've got my stuff I planted in the greenhouse here. I've got my lettuce, both pots, and my herbs. And one of these 
um, cells of six is empty because I didn't have any spearmint. My packet was empty, which is sad because that's something I really wanted to start. So I'm going to have to be buying that here soon. I have a whole list of vegetables and herbs and flowers and stuff that I really need to get bought very soon <laughs> so that I can start planting within the next couple months. So and I'm really excited to buy more seeds. <laughs> I've got my grow light up here and actually I should probably turn that on and that should work fine especially with the direct light from the window. I've never had a problem just doing it this way the last few years I've done this and it worked out great and I'm excited this year to have more room with the benches and be able to add plants over there and my table. So. This year, I'm going to be able to start even more goodies. Well, I think that's all I have for you today, friends. But thanks for stopping by and watching. And I will be growing something every week this whole year. And this is just the first week, lettuce and some herbs. So stay tuned to see what I get planted next week. So thanks for watching. Bye.